All right, I think you'll find this video very helpful and uh, on how to get free replacement parts very quickly from Creality, believe it or not. True story. Um, so uh, if this is helpful to you, uh, please help others to find it by clicking uh, thumbs up. And if you like, uh, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. Uh, so be sure to check the, uh, the, the description for uh, important information, and I'll go into that. But uh, ultimately, um, so the, the way to get quick customer service from Creality and quick parts is, so first of all, you email uh, Creality at customer service, and then you, uh, you uh, write to them very concisely, politely, and precisely, because don't forget there's a serious language barrier there. And even if they have some English training, think about even if you tried to learn Chinese and somebody wrote to you in Chinese, then it's not going to uh, go well if they ask you for help. So uh, keep it concise like that and include your serial number, sticker, photo, and a screenshot of your, um, of your, um, uh, per your order confirmation email, a screenshot of that. And also your full name, address, phone number, and all that stuff. But do it in their format, and that's what's in the description. Is there? They have a sort of a questionnaire format, and that allows them to, because it's easy for them to confuse what goes in what field, and so they ask it in a specific order. Uh, and so I copied it out of my email. So ultimately, uh, here's how it works. So um, they. If you ask them, if you email cs at creality.com, they'll get back to you, I find, usually within a day, but sometimes within two days. Um, don't forget they're across the world, so different time zones. They're sleeping when you're writing, um, likely. And so they're gonna, you're going to write to them. They're going to get back to you, and the first thing they're going to say is uh, they need confirmation that you've actually purchased it and that uh, and the serial number... And if they're sending you parts, they're going to need the shipping information. So if you just wait for them to ask you the, all the right questions, you're going to go back and forth for a week before they finally say, okay, we're going to send you parts, and then it's going to take another week or so to get parts. Uh, I find Most of my parts have been arriving less than a week, which is amazing to me. And they're all free. Like, I haven't paid for a single part, and I've gotten a bunch of parts. Basically, I email, and they send me a bunch of parts. And uh, I could go into that, but I'm going to try to keep this uh, short. Um, and so, uh, so if you just wait for them to ask you questions and then and then do what they say, it's going to take you an extra week. So you're going to your part's going to take two weeks instead of one week. So, but if you if you use this me this method that I'm sharing here, uh, you'll get it much quicker. So when you write to them, uh, write in the first email, write your question, clear you know politely, clearly, and uh, or say state your problem, and then. Uh, copy and paste out of the description of this video the questionnaire for the name, address, phone number, blah, blah, blah. Fill, uh, paste it into the body of your email after your question and fill it out. Give them all your information. And then also take a photo of your uh, serial number, which is on the QR code serial number, which is on the back of the printer. I don't know if you can see it. I can't tell what it's looking at, but it's back there somewhere. QR code sticker. And uh, so take a picture of that and put that in the in the email also because they're going to ask you for it eventually anyway and then also your take a screenshot of your confirmation email from when you bought the printer so that's your proof of purchase and so if you include those three things along with your question uh i've had great success with you know i've sort of after, after a few tries i figured this out so if you include that all in the first contact then uh they're they're gonna say okay this guy needs a new nozzle or heat bed or entire hot end uh, entire heat bed assembly or or whatever or extruder or whatever it is that you need and they're then they don't now they don't need to get back to you to ask you for proof of purchase in your tr shipping info and all that and so they'll just reply and say okay parts will be on the way and they'll probably say at least 7 to 15 days for it to arrive but i find that they don't take that long i find that i i've been getting my parts in less than 7 days so to summarize uh, put just put all of that information in that first contact email, and they'll just they'll likely get back to you, and, uh, saying, "Okay, we're sending you parts," and then you'll have your parts in less than a week. And so again, the, the steps are uh, 
write your question in the body of the email very clearly in, in as few words as possible, but precisely, uh, you know, speak in simple words. Don't speak in like, oh, this printer's dope. And, you know, can you uh, zip me over some uh, goods or, you know, <laughs> don't use slang. You know, don't talk like you're on the streets with talking with people you grew up with. Uh, t- just keep in mind that they don't they have a rudimentary understanding of English and keep it simple. Keep it short. Keep it polite. Include so ask your question, state your problem, uh, pay, copy paste the the questionnaire for your for your shipping info, fill it out, put it right in the body of the email, attach a photo of your uh, serial number sticker QR code sticker, and it's on the back of your printer, and uh, pay, and also attach a screenshot of your uh, of your um, purchase. Uh, confirmation and and, th- and they should get back to you that they'll be sending you parts that's my experience I haven't paid for a single part uh, so far they've shipped me uh, and I, they also kind of lose track of stuff like and don't uh, the, I don't take advantage of them because it's they're good about it and so if people take advantage of them then they'll probably change their policy and they won't be as good so so don't take advantage of this but uh, to be honest I found like I just I just told them my first one was after a week uh, I got a uh, an error code, and so and and then the print, and then I just turned the printer. So it halted on error code. I turned it off and back on. Then I said, "Would you like to continue print?" And I said, "Yes," and it finished the print perfectly. So it was really no big deal. But I but I was like, "Ah, eh, an error code and a halt. I might as well tell them." And so I did. And that after a few back and forth, because I didn't use that technique, they said, "Okay, we're going to send you a new uh, heater nozzle." And I didn't even install that heater nozzle for like two months because it, I didn't need it. It just worked fine. And so finally, I eventually I replaced the heater nozzle. And uh, so they also sent me a, a print bed surface because it got damaged. And they sent me, um, now they've sent me an extruder because the extruder, the initial design was was uh, wore out over time. And so now I have a new extruder in there. And uh, and. The I got a I, I I had an error. I was trying to heat the bed to a hundred one time. Well, many times I've done it, and one time it stopped at eighty eight degrees and halted. And I emailed them about that. And so now I actually have a new uh, entire print bed assembly on the way. All these are all free. And um, and then there was something else, and they said, oh oh, because the the connector broke off when I was trying to change some uh, the something in there. And I had it apart. It was one of those parts I had the I had the print head apart, and I broke the connector socket from the heater onto the PC board. So now they're actually sending me an entire, uh, they said PC board assembly and a new uh, heater nozzle again. And so, and I think this said something about uh, somewhere else. They might be sending me another extruder or something. And it, all of these parts have been free. I haven't paid for any of them. And they're all arriving uh, within satisfactory amount of time, even though they scared me with their saying they might not, they might take a few weeks, uh, but they never have taken a few weeks. It's always been like a week or less. Uh, your mileage may vary. They may get overwhelmed. It could take longer, but that's my experience. So anyway, that's how to get excellent service. And that was cs at creality.com is the email address. And I'm going to put all this information in the description also. So uh, that's how you get uh, quick, satisfactory, excellent customer service out of Creality and fast parts out of them. Um, and so, yeah, if you uh, hugely appreciated if you help promote this, uh, my channel here. I've been growing pretty quickly. Um, and, uh, you know, so help if you found this helpful, please help other people to find it by clicking the thumbs up. And further, if you like... Uh, uh, click on, you know, subscribe to my channel for more useful information and printing tips. And if you have any uh, requests or questions, uh, feel encouraged to ask them in the comments. Anything else in the comments, uh, share with your friends. And uh, hope you found this uh, helpful. And uh, thanks for watching and uh, enjoy your printing.